Hello, this is Lucas Palmeiro from Imaginando and I'm here to give another tutorial on the RC. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some sounds from the song Atlas by the amazing Irish duo named Bicep. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we've got three sounds here to make. Let's start with the first one, which is a bass that sounds something like this. Kind of a droney space, so let's bring back the default patch. Here we have it. First thing I'm going to do is drop two octaves on the first oscillator, then raise the second oscillator to maximum and again drop two octaves to here. Detune it to 100 on fine. Okay. Change performance mode from poly to mono. And I'll raise the pre-gain to 902. Okay. Now for the filter, we drop the cutoff to zero and we drop the envelope generator to amount, which is the amount of envelope generator. This one in time controlling the cutoff frequency, we're gonna drop it to 162. Okay, like this, so now, but now on envelope generator 2, we have 230, 400, uh, sorry, maximum decay, maximum sustain, zero, attack, and a release of 100. Now for the first envelope generator, basically the same, but with a release of 0.62. Okay. And we got our first sound ready. Okay, now let's go to the second one, which is this pad, which I have to change this gain here, which is automated. Okay, bring back the default patch. And first thing I'm going to do is raise one octave on the first oscillator and change it to a square. Now, we want the first oscillator and the sub oscillator at maximum. And we want to change the sub oscillator to a square wave and raise one octave. For the second oscillator, we want to drop one octave only and raise the volume to 835. <laughs> A35, okay, like this. Now we want to pre gain at 588. 588 and a master of 835. Okay. Now change the filter from a low pass for pole to a low pass to pole. It means the filter is has a s s smaller it falls down in frequency slower than a low pass for a pole and we want a cutoff of 318 and a resonance of 130 and for the envelope generator to amount we want 458 okay now attack 618 on the, on the attack on the first envelope generator controlling the amplitude, then 500, then 800, and finally 618 on the release. Okay, second envelope generator, the one controlling the amplitude, we want DK sustained at maximum, and an attack of 618 as well, and a release of 793. Finally, some reverb, amount of 684. Okay. Modulation of 394. DK 799. And damping of 624.
and we got our pad done. Now let's go to the last sound, which is the lead arp. Okay. And bring back the default patch. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is put the pre-gain at 889. Now cut off at zero, re, uh, resonance at 336. Okay, envelope generator to amount at 488. Performance mode, let's change it to mono. Let's turn the legato on and give it a portamento time of 39 milliseconds. Forty should be okay. Okay. Now we want modulation, keyboard modulation to maximum. This means the higher the note, the higher the cutoff, and velocity at two ninety. This means the higher the velocity, the right, the higher the cutoff. Now for the first envelope generator controlling the amplitude, we want zero attack, decay, and sustain at maximum and a release of 129. Okay. For the second envelope generator, we want 0, 230, 400, and 364. Okay. Finally, we go to the reverb, give it an amount of 273, decay of 696, Damping of 500, which is already there, and 425 on the modulation. And now we have the sound ready to go. Remember that I have some automations here on the lead ARP, where I basically, this mode, these automations that you see right there, are basically me turning on the portamento and on and off, so you can get this expression where the sound sometimes is doing a slide to the next note and sometimes it doesn't, so it gives this nice expression to the sound. So let's now listen to this. Bear with me a second while I get this ready for us to listen to. Okay, we got everything ready now. So, yes, let's now listen.
And this was it, guys. So there you have it, guys. This is a great song. It was really fun to make this tutorial. It has some nice uh, twists on the lead and some details that can that you can check out on our Ableton session and see the um, all the aut little automations that I make for the lead to have the expression that it has. But overall, it was a really fun tutorial to make. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That really means a lot to us. I will now say goodbye and tell you to check out our content next week because we've got great things coming up. Goodbye.